Scalability, with the right infrastructure and team in place, you can grow your multifamily business to no end, right? Because it really is simply a matter of implementing systems in place to be able to take down these deals, find these deals, analyze these deals, and then get them funded and closed, right? And then you also have a lot of security. When you're renting out a single family home, you can have somebody who's paying 11 months, right, out of the year. But if they don't pay that 12 month, uh, that 12th month, then you have zero income for that month and you still have to pay the mortgage. You still have to pay the expenses that are in there. And on the residential side, at net after expenses, when you're buying a property as an investment property on the single family side, and anybody who's ever owned any single family property can attest to this, you're only cash flowing like maybe three or $400 a month net after expenses and your reserves and everything like that. And so if you're charging, you know, $2,000 a month in rent and they're not, and they don't pay that one month, you lose two grand. That's like three or four months of your net income on the residential side. Versus if I have a hundred unit property and I have 10 people who stop paying for that month, I'm, I'm still at 90% occupancy. I'm still collecting 90% of my income, right? So you have built in diversification over there. And then obviously the cash flow. I mean, to be able to have this massive number of doors of properties coming in month after month, we buy these properties solely on their cash flow performance. As big as you go, right? Sure, you have to give a portion to your investors, but the other 30% of that, 40 or 50 sometimes percent. In one case, I actually have 60% of the deal where the investors only have 40%. It's a really good deal. The rest of that cash flow is all yours for the keeping.